darling, welcome back to another video. As you can see on the title, it's a plan with me, reflection and goal setting for 2021. This video for me is something that I really, really want to share with my darlings because if it's anything on a yearly basis, I'm sure it's something that you do. It really helps with guidance during the year. It's goal setting so that at the end of the year, you want to have something that you can reflect on so that you know exactly what you attained and what you didn't attain and even if you didn't you get to kind of see what happened and what you can do differently so that you can improve your goals in the next year you can see the product or rather the essence of this video something similar to a vision board yes it's not the traditional um big huge cardboard with everything but it's something similar it suffice so how are we going to even get to that process i'm going to do a very short reflection exercise that i found on pinterest i'll show you on the screen right now then i'm just going to theme give one word and just share a little bit what it means for me because theming my year for me is very important so that with all these goals, I remind myself for why they even exist. So that it's not just me wanting all the money in the world. And finally, just share 10 goals that I think and would love for us as a community at the end of the year to check out. I'm daring to do this in public, but I thought, why not? And it is a beginner version of it. So you can also use some of this as tips and you can just have fun. I'll show you one day when I finish this. I always take it by the day. I use some foil, play with the magazine. I want to write 2021 and cover it and all of that, but we'll go back to that. But for now, let's start with the um, reflection exercise for 2020. Before I continue, this is more of a reflection of who I am as a person actually more than 2020. Um, yeah, I got it a bit a squinted there. But to be honest, I, just, I did the exercise and I am within. I think I was just reflecting whilst I was doing it and I was just thinking about everything else. Anyway, the next thing is three positive affirmations that you give to yourself. I mean, I've wrote them on Instagram and I'm gonna keep it that way for now. I am bold, I am beautiful, and I am passionate. I think those, they are, aff yeah, they, they are affirmations. They are affirmations for me. Thank you. Then the next thing is you looking at your personal strengths. Um, and it's important for you to know your strengths because if you don't know your strengths, then how are you setting these goals and how are you going to go about them when you don't even feel comfortable with the process? Anyway, I've gone with I, and it is a personal strength. Not love people, but I can work with people very well. So it's looking at how can I broaden my horizon when I work with people even more in 2021 because it is personal strength. I'd like to believe that I am reliable to myself and no matter what challenges and what life throws at you, of course you'll just need time to breathe, but keep it going. I always, I know that I will keep going. I don't have a choice. Then the last thing is confidence, you know, again, with all those things, the thing that I use as a, yeah, as a personal strength is confidence and I think it, it works, it helps me out with just allowing myself to fail and try out doing new things on a daily, on a yearly and being confident that it's going to work out with, and again, it's trial and it is, it's error. That's if you watch my video. You better watch it. I'm just gonna put it here. I have my book next to me, thank you. Because I mean, I already did this. I just did it now, as I'm showing you on um, the screen. So the top three professional strengths that I've written is that I'm creative, I'm strategic, and I'm social media savvy. I mean, there's a lot of other professional um, strengths that I do have, but I like these since I feel like a lot of things that I do work around having to strategize and make sense of what I'm doing and how I present myself socially. And also I have to do so creatively and with said, with that said, on social media, you know? So I just thought those would make sense, but I mean, we can go on and 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 on, you know? There's this beautiful quote that is here. I'm not sure if you can see it. 
I will obviously read it because it's a bit long and I won't remember it. I can't remember it, sorry, but it says, which is something that I want to remind myself every time um, when I open this and when I look at my goals. It says, do you know what else you need to do? Set goals that are only truly for you. That would make you happy, healthy, and successful. And that's all I really want. I just want to be happy. I just want to be healthy. And I just want to be successful so that I can breathe. So, like I said, I'm going to share the word that is going to theme my year so that every little goal that I have, I can always just pin it back to exactly the theme of my year. I can also justify that goal to why and how it's going to contribute to that theme and what we are choosing to focus on because there's so many things that we need to work on all the time. And if you don't really minutely and look at what you want to work on you'll never work on anything really because you always just think of all your problems so for me this year is stability 2021 i really want to work on that because 2020 showed me flames child so in terms of all my departments financially health physically spiritually and mentally alice you know career wise family friends Alice, Alice, Alice really consciously work towards being a stable human being and feeling stable rather than just looking stable, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, for myself, for my spirit, for my soul, and for all of us and for the community, the better we are all stable, the better. Anyway. Let's go to first goal so that we can crunch this video and we can come back to it at the end of the year and see really which goals that we have achieved. Well, my very first goal that I've put down here is a driver's license. I know you saw a red car. I have a cute little red car here. You know what, this year I'm gonna work on actually just first getting the driver's license. I do want a car, I do need a car. I live in Johannesburg and Johannesburg is crazy because you need to travel, but realistically now i don't have my drivers yet and i want to manifest in order okay if i can get those drivers this year then that's number one number two runway darling i just put a cute little designer picture i'm not sure if you can see it i i just want to do runway i don't care pandemic something must just stop even if it's virtual you know and even if it's underwater even if it's in fire even if it's runway I'm not gonna stop with that. Number three is dance workshop. Oh, I really want to run um, my own workshop this year as I've already started last year teaching dance and getting in touch with, you know, the nuances of being um, in charge of class. So this year I wanna take it a little bit um, a step higher than last year and just host a full workshop where I market it, put it out there on my socials and really just open it up to you as well it is a goal we'll try it out and then the fourth thing is acting i want to be on screen right oh i found a dstv thing in one of these magazine dstv premium whatever it is honestly this is just a symbolism last year i got an opportunity and it was really something that i didn't expect but really did manifest so i will not shy away and i will not be apologetic about it um it's just really asking the universe to bring more out being on screen is amazing. Then the fifth thing is going to be traveling. I put Africa. Yes, I put Africa. First of all, this is more to always remind myself that I'm proudly African before I even am even proudly South African. The only few countries that I want to go to now, maybe Nigeria and I want to visit in Tanzania. But honestly, Countries like America, countries like Germany, countries like France, I wouldn't mind dropping a foot. Let's see what 2021 has and what opportunities it brings to a artist like me. But it's 2021, I'm shooting higher, 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 so that if I drop low, I just drop there, somewhere in another country this year. That would be fabulous. The last few words are very connected, especially to the theme of the year. So I'm just gonna mention all of them. And as you hear, you're gonna see how some are just fruitful knowledge and 
also just working towards actually really bring this whole stability into life stability thing to life so i really want to read a lot of business books um especially for freelancers and people that are just making their way into making something out of nothing and then saving money that's going to indicate to me really how much i am making because how much i'm making and willing to put away shows will be able to show me that I'm doing a little bit better than last year because last year putting away anything was impossible so if I can put away something this year at the end of the year I do have specific numbers um, it would prove a lot to me in terms of career and making better choices for myself and then YouTube growth darlings can you please grow this year even more rah, rah. I suppose I suppose to give you content right I'm gonna be giving you content but let's say 10k oh you know oh 10k let's say 10k yeah let's see what happens at the end of the year that's gonna be an achievement but if you don't get it at least close let's do it okay please don't forget to subscribe down below click that but please don't forget to click that bell button so that you can get those notifications immediately when I drop a video and I'm gonna drop a lot more this year because we have that 10k goal okay and then the last thing or the last two things I want to do radio radio even if it's a feature even if i'm behind or even if i'm learning something out of that for me it's, it's a childhood dream and i still it, it hasn't disappeared regardless of everything that is happening on online you know all these apps that are coming i still radio 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 and the last thing i wrote philanthropy i really want to give back and by giving back i really want to give back not just through free content on youtube no to go into someone's life and just do something that they can't do for themselves or unable to because of resources we really are living in a different world everyone is experiencing the world a bit differently and if you can make it better for someone else it would be amazing i have a question for you or i have a request do you mind sharing one thing that you really want to achieve in 2021 um and also did you find this video useful in terms of you setting your own goals writing them down as a guidance and do you even do such am i weird oh this is normal and it's something that you really want to jump on i know i've just thrown a lot of questions but you do and answer the one that you feel like answering it would be amazing if you guys engage so that this video goes out there to more people and more people and more people thank you so much darling